Good morning, lovely people. I hope you are doing wonderfully wherever you are on this planet, this glorious planet of ours. It's a, it's a gorgeous day, so I'm in a very good mood. Um, yes, so welcome to your Yoga Solutions podcast with me, Mark J. Aquaviva. Um, today, yeah, let's get on with the content. Today, I want to uh, go over, uh, I, I've shared this before in different formats. Um, but it's about the use of the limbs. Um, what we're trying to do with our yoga practice is find better way of doing better ways of doing things. That's what I believe anyway. Um, it's not to get strong at doing things in the way that we already do them. And what's more, when, when you're um, practicing yoga, when you're going to a class and following instructions, that's what you're doing. You're following instructions and you're doing things to your body. Um, so if, for example, you're told to, to lift an arm, you'll lift an arm. So that's what you're doing. Um, it really doesn't bear much relevance in life. Because when in life do you decide to lift an arm and hold it there? <laughs> for, for what purpose? Um, perhaps you lift an arm to point at something. Perhaps you lift an arm to reach for something. So uh, there's an absence of nature, there's a natural... Uh, uh, natural responses from from the person that's doing it because you're doing stuff to your body so it's, it's quite important to bring into your practice some kind of inquiry into into the nature of what you're doing and try and make it relevant relevant to life life itself you know um yeah so anyway uh use of the limbs Extrapolating on that thing that happens in classes, um, it, it's subtle. It's in the language. You know, if 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 someone says, um, uh, say you're doing dog pose, and they say you push, and they tell you to push the ground to come up, uh, that's what you'll do. You'll push against the ground to come up, and the way you do that will be following that instruction, pushing something away. And when you push something away, you kind of tend to get pushed back by it. So the, the, the way you would uh, push the ground away with your arms in dog pose would involve your shoulders coming forwards and you pulling back as you, as you push. Okay? Th that's okay. <laughs> as in, you'll do a posture, you'll do a dog pose, but you won't get the nature of it. You won't get the, the, the quality of movement that maybe, a, say, a, a child that's playing would do. And it'll be full of stress. It'll be full of effort that actually is mostly unnecessary. And the, and the reason is, um, that, so yeah, that, sorry, I'm, I'm going around, around the houses a bit here. But it brings me back to, okay, so we are looking at how we are using our bodies. And if you can understand that the way an, uh, you naturally open out your limb when you're not stressed is a two-directional thing, as in it's not you pushing anything away, it's you opening out that limb in two directions so that there's a relationship between what you're doing away from you and what you get back into you, if that makes any sense. You know, if you push your arm away, you push with your shoulders, your elbow locks, and then you put your weight on that thing. And, and it causes sort of distortions. It causes distortions for your spine. It, it uh, interferes with your breath. It, it does things that um, is le are less than uh, comfortable for the body. If, on the other hand, the opening of the limb is a two-directional thing, so instead of you straightening your elbow and pushing with your shoulder, you allow the arm bone to come back into you whilst the hand moves away from you, then your elbow opens naturally without stress, without hyperextending the joint. And the result is actually whatever you're doing in the outward direction gives you support in the inward direction. And it doesn't, doesn't even have to have a surface. You know, when, when, if you try this with me in space, just try that idea. Instead of straightening your arm away from you, send your hand away from you. And by, if you imagine that there's a resistant surface, 
you can use that surface to get the shoulder to pull back it behind you and into you. And the result will be something strong in your body. Your, your rib cage will change shape. Your spine will wake up. Your core will probably wake up if you do it with the release of the breath. And it's a, it, it seems like a lot of whole body effort just to straighten your arm. But the outcome is that that arm isn't being carried by your neck. It's not being carried by the muscles here. And, um, you know, if you try and relax whilst carrying your arm, you'll end up with your neck really short. Whereas if you put the effort into opening the arm in two directions, you get a two directional relationship, as in whatever you're doing outwards supports you inwards. Now, if there is actually a surface there that you can use, let's change cameras. Um, there we go. If there is actually a surface there that you can use, then instead of reaching away from yourself to touch the ground, if you just bring yourself close to that surface so your hand can touch, it's still got an outward action, but then you use that outward action to feed back into you through your shoulder and it will be a different feeling. But when you've done that, relax your weight into the hand and you'll notice that the elbow is unbraced. It doesn't need to brace because you're transmitting your whole body weight through to the hand. And you can relax, as in you can let go and breathe. And the result is you stay supported. And when you release the breath, you remain supported. So in other words, you can breathe freely whilst you support yourself using your hand. Seems to be uh, pedantic, but the, the physical experience uh, that is... Um, the, the change in physical experience gives you a change of experience of the work itself. It, it gives you a different relationship to your body. So say you've got two, you can have a go at dog pose. And instead of arriving with anticipating everything you have to do by reaching away from yourself, straightening your arms and pushing with your shoulders, which will put you in this kind of a heavy relationship to the ground. Instead of that, bring yourself close to the ground with your hands, with soft arms, not too much weight to start with, just the sort of downward touch. And then you can use that downward touch. Well, you can use a kind of uh, pushing out through your fingers in the direction of your fingers feeling to feed the bone back into you and into your shoulder. And then if you relax your weight through that with both hands, then you will be suspended between your shoulders and your upper back will be able to relax through your shoulders. And it's a different feeling, it's not familiar, um, but it basically it leaves you supported. It means you're, the thing that you're doing with your hands is actually supporting your weight rather than you holding yourself away, the ground, away from the ground whilst you lean through locked arms. So if you can do that and um, take a breath, trusting your hands, when you release the breath, you simply want to move. You want to move and roll over your feet. So your legs will have to do something. But say, similarly, you don't want to pull your legs straight with your knees because that stops you being supported by your feet. Instead, you want a sense of the underside of the foot at the front there going down. And pushing forwards through the toes a little bit will kind of feed the thigh bone up into your pelvis on each side. So you feel support, so the legs can start to open in two directions. And then the Brucey bonus is when you relax your weight into your hands and your feet as you, as you breathe, you should feel kind of floaty and supported. When you release that breath inwards on the inside, there's simply a kind of deflation within you that allows your legs to fall away from your body. And you still have that sense of support from being on your feet. It allows, it also at the other end, if you sort of relax your weight into your hands to breathe, if your hands are responsive, so that they're supporting back through you and you're not carrying your weight as you release the breath, what happens is a deflation of the chest and the ribs away from the hands. So it feels like you can rest through your arms better as well as the legs falling away from you into the space behind you, you can drop the arms into the space underneath you.
along with your body weight. And you end up with a different sense of what the posture means. Um, it, won't, it won't be effortless. This will be a great deal of effort because you'll be using, um, you'll be waking up different muscles, the muscles involved in natural movement. They're, they're kind of more expensive muscles, as in they, they, um, uh, they're deeper, they're finer, but it's red muscle tissue. It takes, um, so it takes a, a while to build up um, this kind of musculature. So when you first do it, it will feel really intense. Um, and the other stuff of pushing yourself away doesn't take much effort at all because it's white muscle tissue. So it's the bulk, it's the stuff you, you carry weight with. But um, it will be intense, it will be strong, but it will have the overriding quality of you relaxing into your own support. Okay? And, and um, yeah, it... it <sighs> It, it's not exclusively when you have contact. Um, I, I'm going to do this for my silver members when I, when I finish this up, but just to, just to sort of let you know, you know, same way when you have a hand in space, if you imagine a surface, you can use that surface with your foot to feel supported back from it. So your leg opens, not by, by you straightening your leg and lifting its weight with your back. The leg opens as if you're leaning into something. And the result is you get supported all the way through the spine. Um, maybe you can just sort of uh, play with that. And, and it, it involves you using your imagination where you imagine that you can find a physical surface for support so that your body responds appropriately. Because the, the way your body works depends on how you're thinking, you see. Um, so if, if you can find that kind of support from space, as if it's a surface, then you're more likely to find a natural relationship from that opening limb. It no longer becomes something you have to lift with your lower back. Instead, it becomes a place of support that you can rest into. Yeah? Okay, so that'll do for, for now. Um, I shall uh, go a bit deeper with a few other things, maybe, um, well, we'll see. Uh, I'll do something else for uh, my silver members, take it a bit further into a proper class. But um, other than that, I hope that was useful to you. Feel free to share this around wherever you see fit or wherever you think anyone, someone might benefit. And um, yeah, if you, if, if you want access to the full versions of my yoga solutions with guided practice, uh, more guided practice, um, then you can become a silver member uh, on my website. It's cheap as chips. It's about a pound a week and you get a, a fresh yoga solutions every week uh, on a subject. And there's, uh, and you get access to the, uh, it's over 150 of them I've done so far over the years I've been doing this. Um, so, you know, it's a really good resource for, for a pound a week. Um, so go to my w website, sign up for sil silver membership. You get to try it out for a week for nothing. And then if you, if you, uh, if you don't like it, then you can, um, you can, um, shut down the subscription before you pay anything. But, uh, if you enjoy it, it's very good value. Um, other than that, um, you can come to my workshops. I do one every Saturday, um, most Saturdays. Um, yeah, uh, ten thirty a.m. start, two and a half hours. It's um, a deep dive into self care, basically, and uh, people always have a, some kind of profound experience when they attend and apply themselves to what I'm offering. Um, yeah, uh, what else? Uh, I've got a yoga holiday coming up in uh, July in Turkey. Um, it's, a, it's the last of its kind. The, the place is being handed over to some developer. So this will be the last retreat at that, this place. It's a gorgeous place up in the hills near a fishing village in, in, in Turkey. Um, it, it's, um, it's organized by Tuesday McNeil, who, te who teaches uh, the mornings. I, I do the afternoon workshops. And um, yeah, plenty of time for R&R &R while you're there. And um, yeah, okay. Uh, oh yes, uh, last thing that I'm doing um, that I want to let you know about is I'm teaching at the World Yoga Festival in August. Um, yeah, so look that up and come and see me. All right, much love to you. I shall um, see you same time, same place next week. Bye now.